And the thing is that a lot of people think that it takes a special kind of person to achieve something phenomenal. You know, people think that, you know, they have to be born with a talent. It's like a natural born talent. It comes easy to them. Those are the kind of people who get to achieve something really great. Like those are the Michael Jordans. Those are the Kobe Bryants. Okay, but you can't possibly be telling me that Michael Jordan didn't have to put in any work to get to where he is today. Because if anything, Michael Jordan put in more work than anybody else. Anybody who believes in that kind of bullshit are saying it and believing in it and thinking it to make themselves feel better. Because they don't want to believe that greatness is possible for anybody. Because they don't want to believe that it takes hard work. So that means that anybody can be that kind of person. That means that you can be that kind of person. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This week I wanted to talk to you about investing in yourself and investing in your future. What kind of people might have trouble with it while some other people don't really have a problem with signing up for masterminds, signing up and getting tickets for a conference or a seminar. The kind of people who don't really have trouble getting a coach. So first let's dissect it. Let's talk about what does investing in yourself and your future actually mean? Well, investing is a result. It's a result of committing to your goal and your future. So then how do you get to the point of committing? How do you commit to something that you can't even see right now, that's only in your mind right now? Well, you have to believe. You have to believe in your vision. You have to be able to close your eyes and see your vision and see it right there. And whatever is right there, you gotta believe that one day it'll be right in front of you, literally. And no one else can do this for you. You have to believe in it. It doesn't even matter what anybody else says about your goals and how ridiculous it sounds. It doesn't matter. You have to believe in it. Okay, so then how do you believe in your goals? How do you get to the point of convincing yourself that it's possible? Well, that's a question for you. What does it take for you to believe in something? What has to happen for you to believe in something? Even if it's not in front of your face right now. If you believe in Santa, what got you to the point where you started believing in Santa? What about God? What about Jesus? What had to happen for you to be able to believe? and have faith. If you don't believe in God, law of attraction. What, what, what had to happen? What kind of books did you have to read? What kind of documentaries did you watch? Did you watch The Secret on Netflix? And then all of a sudden now you're convinced that law of attraction is real? You have to figure that out. Just ask yourself, kind of observe your habits. What has to happen? What has to be said? What, in order to help you believe that something is effective? and will work. And believing isn't even enough. Believing alone isn't all that it takes. You have to put in the work. And not only do you have to put in the work, but you have to become obsessed. You have to become one of those people. Being serious about a goal is that serious. It does take obsession for you to be able to successfully achieve a huge goal. So when I say that you have to become one of those people, those people who are just extra, they're willing to go the extra mile, the kind of people who you know what their passion is, you know what drives them, the kind of people you see in the gym, like you know they're not just there to work out, like it's a lifestyle for them. Going off some Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant shit, like willing to do the work that no one else is willing to do. Setting goals, guys, it's, it's cute. Setting goals, it's cute. It's not something that you do in December or January though. Like you set goals, like you go on Instagram, you tell everybody about it, like this is what I'm trying to do, blah, blah, blah. That's cute. That's easy. I'm not impressed. But the people who are actually serious about their goals are so obsessed that their life just is just consumed by it. 
So the books you read, the podcasts that you listen to, the videos you watch, the people you follow and look up to. Not only that, but you learn to come up with a strategy. You educate yourself and you grow the knowledge in achieving your goal in the most effective way possible. Because it turns out that hard work alone isn't enough either. And the thing is that a lot of people think that it takes a special kind of person to achieve something phenomenal. You know, people think that, you know, they have to be born with a talent. It's like a natural born talent. It comes easy to them. Those are the kind of people who get to achieve something really great. Like those are the Michael Jordans. Those are the Kobe Bryants. Okay, but you can't possibly be telling me that Michael Jordan didn't have to put in any work to get to where he is today. Because if anything, Michael Jordan put in more work than anybody else. It's like saying that Kobe Bryant never woke up at 3 a.m. to make it to practice by 4 a.m. It's like saying that to get signed by Eminem, 50 Cent, all he had to do was just show up one day. It's, it's like saying that your favorite entrepreneur, your favorite athlete, your favorite artist, it's, it's saying that all they had to do was just wake up one day and decide, hey, I'm, I'm ready to be famous now. I want to be famous now, I'm ready. Anybody who believes in that kind of bullshit are saying it and believing in it and thinking it to make themselves feel better because they don't want to believe that greatness is possible for anybody because they don't want to believe that it takes hard work. It's not just talent. It's about talent and execution. It's about talent and the hard work. It's about the talent and consistency, perseverance. It's about the talent and the faith and the hope. It's about the talent and the obsession and the commitment. It's about the talent and the willingness to take risks. So that means that anybody can be that kind of person. That means that you can be that kind of person. That means that you can be like Mike. So after you set your goal, after you believe that one day the dream will come true, after you commit and after you obsess over it and putting all the work, you realize that putting work also requires taking risks. And you learn that taking risks includes investing in yourself. But you'll also learn that investing in yourself, it's actually a gift. It's a gift for yourself because it's gonna help you achieve your dream. So if you're the kind of person who has a difficult time in investing in yourself, um, if you sort of hesitate and you have to sleep on it to sign up for a coaching program, a mastermind group, to get tickets to a seminar, if you're the kind of person who has trouble with that, it might be because you don't believe in your goal enough. It might be because you're not committed and obsessed with your goal enough or and or it might be because you don't actually believe that you're worth and capable of achieving that goal which means that you don't believe that you're worth an investment even if it's you investing in yourself you might not believe that you are worth an investment like you might not believe that you are worth a private one-on-one -on -one coaching. You don't, you don't believe that you're worth that kind of attention. You might not believe that you are worth being a part of a very selective mastermind group led by somebody that, that you've been looking up to for so long. You might not believe that you, you, you are worth sitting in the front row seat at a Tony Robbins conference. It's also because investing in yourself in that way means that you're taking ownership to the process. You're taking ownership to your goal. There's always going to be some sort of hesitating if you're not committed, obsessed, 
totally laser focused. You have to believe in your goal and you have to believe that you do deserve it, that you are worth it. So let me ask you, don't you believe, don't you think that you deserve time committed to you for someone to teach you something just for you? Don't you think you're worth somebody else's time who can teach you everything that you need to know? Don't, don't, you, don't you think that sometimes maybe you're so special that you can't be shared, you shouldn't be shared? You can listen to all kinds of podcasts, you can read books, you can join a book club, you can watch videos on YouTube, but at the end of the day, those things, those resources are made in general. It's not made for you specifically. Everybody has access to it. It's not just you. It's every, anybody can get access to it. Why would you want something that everyone else can have? Why would you want something that everybody else has access to? Isn't your goal, isn't your dream special? So doesn't it make sense that you get a mentor or a coach or join a group that's going to teach you something specifically designed for you? Why would you want to stay average? Why would you want to stay among the general public? If your answer to that is because it's comfortable, Staying comfortable is how you're gonna lose. So on Friday, I'm gonna go over how to invest in yourself and what to invest in because I don't want you out here joining some mastermind group or getting a coach just because they're Instagram famous because that defeats the entire purpose of the video. All right, I'll see you Friday.